Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Here we are, Sunday. It is normally Spurs Day today. The bro is away, he's away sunning himself in Tenerife, honestly, man. Or maybe he's getting thrashed by the waves and the winds, I don't know. So, what we're going to do today? Well, first of all, I'm going to go back and retrace my step and go looking for the stops. Well, dog. Now, um, Gordon McMurray, thank you very much. Uh, sent me a message on the Spurs page telling me exactly where it is. So there's no excuses not to find it today. Remember I failed last time. It was a little blue sort of Banksy Scotty dog. So, and then after that, who knows? Who knows, folks? So join me today as we go on just a local adventure. Thank you. Right, folks, here I am. I've arrived at the bit where the uh, the graffiti should be. We've got this graffiti here. Okay, and this is the old doctor's survey. It should be sort of round about here somewhere. There. So we'll have a little look round the corner. Oh, there it is, folks. Look. Right, folks, there it is, right behind me now. Now, I've come out without my notes, so I can't remember who drew it and all this kind of stuff, but I'll, I'll put a little link up down there so you can see what it's all about. But yeah, it's like um, like a Banksy kind of thing, isn't it? It's like a, the Scotty dog, and he's, he's attached to the balloon, the balloon of freedom, is it? He's hold on to freedom. He's got a Scottish sort of coat thing on there, and he's a black hairy dog, man. Good Scottish terrier. And we've got IGI. M R G? Oh uh, no, oh uh, Emery, that was it, Emery, was it Emery? Yeah, something like that. So there it is, fantastic, I found it. Thanks very much, Gordon McMurray, thank you. Right, we're on the corner here of Cardine Street where this bank of uh, Royal Bank of Scotland has shut. They're shutting all the local branches, man, and centralising the whole thing. And it's just causing absolute mayhem for, for people who aren't, you know, the, the online uh, people are taking over. So, um, you know, nobody, the, the, old, the old people who bank writing checks and things, they, they just got, they've got no chance, man. It's all gone centralised and the online banking, like everything else, Online is taking over, so there it is. I, that, I used to remember that, but I was thinking, was that never I think it was. I used to go there quite a lot, man, because I lived just along the road there, so uh, yeah, I used to use that. But it, it's very sad to see, man. Look, it's closed down now. They've still got the machine there, but um, oh well, what can you do, mate? What can you do? It's progress and all that, isn't it? Progress taking over. We are rushing headfirst into the age of technology, folks. We certainly are. Right, while we're at, while we are out and about today, I've got my trusty lyric book with me folks now i post my lyrics on uh, instagram follow me on instagram folks but unfortunately my wife went mental she's i can't understand your writing it just it's indecipherable indecipherable great word for her so they are i'm afraid because i just get very excited when i'm writing my lyrics and i just scroll them down and sometimes even i can't read them out it's terrible my writing is shocking but this latest song i've got here is a kind of like a traditional ditty a traditional ditty folks it goes sitting by the seas of liberty Waiting for the world to come to me But it's like my father said Pretty soon we'll all be dead And nobody will come home for the tea And the sadness went on for a long time Nobody knew what to do The streets are all covered in flowers For the morning for, oh, sorry, for, for the morning now long overdue ba -da -ba -dum. And it's written in stone that we must grieve For hours and hours each day The turbulence of time will make you strong to survive And someday that's it. I just can't get that last line. And someday it's got rhyme with day. And someday, da ba da da ah, da dee da do. I don't know. Yeah, but it's like my father said: the world will not come to you. you. You know, waiting for a living. That's what he used to say to me. If you're waiting for a living, the world will not come to you. You've got to go and get it. And it, it's been proven so true, man. I am so complacent. Like bro as well. We're both very complacent. We just, you know, I could I could be a famous rock and roll star easily. You know, go and check my songs on SoundCloud, man. Imagine them in a big stadium. You can, you can imagine it. Yeah, with the band and everything. I'd be great. I'd love it. <laughs> I could be president of the world. Sorry. Right, folks, here we are on the old Denzel Market where I'm coming to look for a bit of graffiti that I've been to before. And uh, I met the artist who was here doing it uh, at the time I came by and yet uh, it wasn't quite finished. So, that's where you're going look for the finished article basically somebody in the 
There's somebody in the fire escape. Look. What is not? It's, a, it's an illusion. Look, there it is. It's graffiti. The lady, the gentleman, and the man. It's like a bus queue or something, isn't it? Look. And a couple kissing. A lady with a hot dog or a burger or something. And then there's a mobile. She's on her mobile. She doesn't look too happy, does she? And. Okay, folks, here I'm in the free car park at Gallica Retail Park. Now, it's a bit of a nightmare here. I didn't really mean to, to do this, but I've come up to look for some more graffiti in, um, in a street that's long way there. But obviously, it's, it's going to be busy with Christmas shoppers everywhere, man. So uh, we're just going to try and weave our way around them all and let's see if we can not get in the way of anybody. Right, breakfast is on the move today. Well, brunch, whatever, is on the move today. Mars Bar. Hmm. Right, so here it is, this old cobbled street, and it's actually an official graffiti place. As you can see, it starts here. And yeah, it sort of just works its way. There was actually people graffiti. I think there's some people spraying today, but I think there's a couple of them are going to have a, a watch there, man. So yeah, this is actually an official, an official thing. You can come down here and spray. I never thought of that. I could have brought a can and sprayed Jag lives. But yeah, so let's have a look. Right, it's quite uh, some great artwork. Okay, this is very trippy, this one here. This is all planets and stars in it. It says MDMA there. So. I don't know if MDMA is the, uh, the guy's initials or not, I don't know. Mm. Right, so, let's see what else is down here. It's all just off. Nothing really stands out at the moment. It's very colourful though, I must say. Very nice indeed. Just names, really, at the moment. There's a face there. He's coming up. There we go. Nice, quite good one there. That's a good one there. Person sitting in a sort of barber kind of thing there. Right. So just speaking to the uh, a couple of graffiti artists there, just saying how, they, how do they do it and what's, what's the rule and this is totally legal. The government's fine with it, the council's fine with it, the police are fine with it, the landowners are fine with it. So people can just come down here and spray away. But um, I said, so how did you come down here? Are you allowed just to spray over anything? But you have to, um, if it's tagged or something, you're not allowed to do it over another one's art. It's only if it's fading away um, that you can spray over it. So if I came down here and sprayed Jag over that, I would get into trouble for that uh, from the, the graffiti people. I would have to sort of spray it on, on like, say, just, a, say just like something just down there. Would have to do it. So that's that's the, the law, seemingly according to the uh, the the graffiti artist just down there, so excellent. This guy behind me, man, he's in a right old state, man. It's something absolutely brought him down. He drove all the way along the road there, and he's, it's a shame. He's an old man, he's, he's, he's panicking. Uh, 
Oh man, I wish you could have heard that guitar. Well, you actually can. I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. Um, it's on this song called Days. And it's uh, just an amazing guitar line. It just don't awesome. Unfamiliar noises. An unfamiliar machine. Rosie had these. Uh, Daz, what do they call them? Daz, I don't know, three in one pods. I never got these aisles to buy these things. I haven't got a clue what they look like. I don't know what it was. I was juggling with them and she was going mental. They're all going to explode. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so and, and all the, the dial and the thing and that. And oh, it's just, and all this is delicate and wool and fast wash. Cotton standard. What, 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 if I wanted to wash this, what would it be? Cotton standard. Okay, maybe. But honestly, man, yeah, this is just a, such an unfamiliar territory. I, I'm, I'm frightened if anything ever happened to Rosie and I was left to mind you know, I really, I mean, what's, what's going on there? Is that where it collects the powder or something? But I mean, well, we don't have powder, we've only got those ball things to use. And round it goes again. Ooh, that's my towel. My towel is getting washed. Ah, oh, man. Who knows?